be painting seashells. Um, we are going to be creating this galaxy one and this watermelon. So let's get started. Okay, so first we will be doing the galaxy. So how you're gonna be? So how you're gonna do that is you're gonna take your paint. You're gonna go. Oh, I'm gonna paint that. Purple one is fine. Nice paint from Michaels. It's called, it's called Artist Loft. It's a very nice paint. Do they? But they do come in very small packagings. Okay, so first we are going to take your blue paint or purple paint, and they're just going to dab it on randomly. In this part, you don't have to wash your brush because. It doesn't matter. Dab on the purple. This part matters to wash it. So I kind of just dab it in like this. And then I take the time to squeeze it with my fingers. Which yes, it will get your hands all painty, but that's fine. It'll wash off eventually. Yeah. Just rub it on the paper towel. Okay. So now you are going to take the black and you're just going to plop it wherever. So it'll kind of just look like a galaxy. Okay. So now what we are going to do is when, when you put the black paint, it does stain your hands a little, but it's fine. Um, so when you do the black paint on your seashell, you'll notice that all your blue and purple paint co get covered so you have to just do that one more time but it's it's it looks good when when you do this that way okay let's rinse off our brush again ah you know who i feel like i feel like bob ross <laughs> how do you even know who bob ross is uh i watched his show on netflix it's a good show it's very peaceful mm. and his voice almost made me fall asleep yeah, happy trees. Happy trees. Happy little accidents. <laughs> Very old. Yeah. I love it when he like hits his brush on the sides and goes. <laughs> 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 okay, now is the cool part. You take an or ordinary brush. It has to be all waggled. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have to. You just put it into the white paint, and you flip it. This part takes a bit. So, ah, I got some on my face. <laughs> okay, just ignore if I have like a white splotch on my face. It's called artist. It's called an artist. So if you don't want white paint on your face, just back up a bit. That's kind of how you're supposed to do it. So it makes cool stars. More white paint. You can make as many stars as you want. It just matters on how much paint you're going to use. If you want a lot of stars, you're going to have to use like a medium amount of paint. But if you want just a small amount, you don't have to put so many, so much of the white paint in your tray. Or whatever. And that is the Galaxy Seashell Complete. I hope you like it. You could create it too. Just have like these clams, basically the clam shells my grandma gave to me. So um, that's all you really need. You could okay. do them on stones too. Mm -hmm. That's a big trend. Yes. I'm gonna move that over here to dry. Now we are going to do the watermelon one. It looks like this. I have all the colors pre-made right in this tray right here. So, what I used was white and a little amount of green, and that will be for the rind. This one is going to be for, like, the outer of the watermelon, which is, like, I, the skin, I guess. I just added a bit of white and a bit of green. And this one, it's red, pink, and white mixed together, and it kind of makes this watermelon color. And then black for the seeds, which is normal. Okay. So what you do, you don't need the dabber brush. Dabber brush. <laughs> okay, so.
So what you're gonna do is you could either hold it or you could leave it on the table. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your red paint, red, pink, white, weird paint, and then you're just gonna kind of make a line of where you want it to end, which mine is gonna be right here. And then you're just gonna keep getting your red paint and putting it from the line that you made up. And if you want, you could use a pencil and outline it to wear the place that you want it. But I'm just gonna use paint because I don't feel like it and I don't have a pencil near me or a pen. So yeah, make sure you get that butt. I just have this little spot here. If your seashell or rock is dark, um, I suggest doing a base coat before starting the actual painting job. So yeah, now we're just gonna wash our, so now we are just gonna do the rind next. So just clean off your brush. You're gonna do your light green, and then you're gonna just go right under the red it's okay if it's tilted. That's how I did my my first watermelon one. That was like basically the reference. This is now the actual thing. So let's just make the rind. Clean off our brush. And then after you clean off your brush, you're gonna take your dark green and you're gonna go under your rind. It's raining. We have been having terrible weather. Either it's too hot or like it's raining. It's really <laughs> weird. Okay. So now you're gonna clean off your brush again because you don't want your paint to get contaminated by all their colors. That's not what you want. And you're gonna take your black, but you're gonna use the end of your brush. Ah, 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 hair. And you're gonna just dab it on like that to make the seeds. And again, you don't have, well, not again, I haven't said this before. You don't have to use the end. You could use the top of the brush, but for me, it's harder to make pretty nice things. Uh, it just stopped raining. <laughs> and when it was just, just raining like a minute ago. Okay. You can make as many seeds as you like, or you don't have to make seeds. It could be a seedless watermelon. <laughs> To your choice. Okay, now I have to fix up this mean green spot because my hair probably got in it and then got, eh, it's spreading even more. Okay, it's fine. I'm just gonna get more and then there. Now it looked like it never happened. Okay, and then you're gonna let it dry and it'll look nice. I hope you like this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell to get notified whenever I post a new video.